Got a handphone? It probably has gallium and germanium in there somewhere. They're used in everything from TVs to cars, solar panels to night vision goggles. Those soft silvery metals are right in between the more famous zinc and arsenic on the periodic table. But now it's also right smack in the middle of a tech tit for tat between China and the US and its allies. Let's rewind a bit to October when the US limited China's access to equipment used to make high tech chips. Washington thinks China's tech advancements are ultimately aimed at beefing up its military. But Beijing says it's just ensuring greater tech self-reliance. So while the US was tinkering with additional curbs to the mainland, China fired its own warning shot and rolled out restrictions on gallium and germanium. Analysts say this is more than just a trade salvo, that it's a signal China holds the supply chain cards and it's not afraid to use them. You see, gallium and germanium are the secret sauce in semiconductor manufacturing, critical to the EV race, the AI revolution and the defense industry. And an EU study shows China accounts for 94% of the world's gallium supply and 83% of germanium. The US is a top importer, along with Japan, Germany and the Netherlands, the same countries that have sought to counter China's ambitions of tech dominance. The metals are not exactly rare, but processing costs are high and China sells them cheap. So finding an alternative for the main source could be especially tricky and certainly more costly.